medical technology industry has changed in a number of ways. I think you can split it into two areas, prevention and intervention. Intervention, I think, is what we talk about more often. The life-saving uh, cardiac uh, capabilities we have, the orthopedic procedures, uh, the major interventions that save lives. I'm a personal user of medical technology. I have two knee replacements that have changed my life, allow me to do things that I, I, I couldn't do before the surgeries. And so that's the intervention side of it. I'm, I'm a personal believer in the intervention because you're helping me you know, live my life better. Less noticeable, but more impactful, I think, or as impactful, uh, are the prevention uh, aspects of medical technology. Screening for diseases, uh, helping patients stay safe, uh, eliminating infections, diagnosing people faster so we can get therapy uh, going faster. On the prevention side, we know that uh, cervical cancer rates, for example, among women are dramatically down because of screening that's made possible by medical technology. We know that patients in hospitals are safer because of screening for infectious disease and treating hospital-associated infections. Uh, we know that people with diabetes are living longer and healthier lives because the, the devices and the capabilities we give them and the diagnostics allow them to control their diabetes better. I think one of the major breakthroughs in the last 40 years is that billions more people in the world have access to basic high quality medical devices and technologies than they did uh, before AdvoMed started. We touch lives every second of every day in every part of the world. And 40 years ago, that wasn't as true as it is now.